delicious I made the bread this is keto bread there's hardly any carbs on this plate it's probably about three carbs um, we have some habanero pork skins pickles and cucumbers with some spinach dip from the HEB the best spinach, spinach dip ever we have some wicked blue citrus flavored water Who's ready for this motherfucking mukbang? Yummy, freaking delicious. What's up, Yummy Bites? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all see, y'all, I'm so excited. I have been wanting a tuna melt for months now, okay? So I just went ahead and decided to do it for Throwback Thursday. Yes, y'all, we may start doing Throwback Thursdays, okay? Um, We are drinking, what is this? Wicked Blue Citrus Flavor Water. Yes, y'all. Mmm. Delicious. I already know it's gonna be messy, y'all, so <laughs> you know, get ready. Who was ready for this mother flipping mug bag? Let's do this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Who was a yummy bite? Oh gosh. I haven't had one of these in years. Mm, mm, mm. Who loves a good tuna melt? Everything combined is just spectacular. Mmm. Delicious. Wow. Mmm. Just what I've been craving. <laughs> what y'all craving? Let me know. Mmm. I used to love, um... Tuna subs from Subway until I got a bad one. And it made me so freaking sick. But girl, mm, always make your tuna at home. Mmm. Mmm. And your bread, girl. Because I made this keto-friendly bread in my bread machine. Mmm. And it is delicious. I think it only has just like a couple of carbs. Just like, what, two carbs maybe? Mmm. Mmm. These pork skins don't have no carbs, no sugar. Perfect for keto. So replace your chips with pork skins if you eat pork. Mmm.
This is so good. I don't even know what to say. God bless you if you do not like tuna. Because, honey, God bless. <laughs> My mom used to put apples in her tuna. Delicious, okay? I can't have apples on keto. So that's the only reason why I didn't chop up apples and put it in my tuna. Mmm. Have I ever heard of it or have I ever tried it? Let me know. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Absolutely delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so I wasn't, I wasn't, I would, ugh, I can't even talk. I didn't do this when I actually wanted it because I'm like, they don't want to see no tone of milk. You know what I'm saying? But honey, I didn't care today. I'm like, I am going to eat what I want. Oh my God. Mmm. And it's a great keto meal. Great. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Y'all, we got some hot topics tonight. Hot. Off the press. Mmm. And some updates. Girl, am I satisfied? Yeah, I know I barely ate anything. And all I had today was a yogurt. Oh, excuse me. So... <laughs> Mmm. He better not come out of that bathroom blasting that freaking music. 
Mm-hmm. Y'all, if I don't find another way to style my hair, baby, them wigs going back on. For real. Um, I put those um those seamless clip-ins in last night. I did the video. But I took them out, of course, because I'm not going to sleep in them. But I didn't put them back in. Because the textures just weren't the same. Um, they were all right. You know what I'm saying? It blended, but I could tell. You know what I'm saying? That it wasn't the same texture. <clears throat> but they still looked good. Gave me more length. My hair was much thicker. And, um... Yeah, I'm thinking about putting them back in and wearing them tomorrow. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. But I kind of want to wear my hair in a different... <clears throat> oh my God, excuse me, way. I actually have some, um, some. I think they are kinky straight clip-ins. Um, but they go with like this kinky straight ponytail because it was like a half up, half down like package or whatever, and I don't know if those kinky straight clip-ins are longer than my actual hair, because it ain't going to look right if it's shorter, so I'm going to check and see, and maybe I'll wear those tomorrow, yeah, those might be cute with my hair, because they're the exact same texture, <clears throat> Exact. Mm. 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 What <laughs> row? Right there where those onions are. Yes. Look at that. Mmm. Y'all just don't know how good this is. Only the people who like um, tuna melts know exactly how good this is. Oh, my God. I don't know which side I want to bite, y'all. Maybe this one. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah, my hair getting frizzy. Push it to the back. <clears throat> At least that's how it. Anyway. Um. So, y'all. I don't know if y'all have already heard, but y'all know those officers, those six officers who pleaded guilty to beating those two black men. Thank God. They are still alive. One of them got 20 years and the other one got 17. Like what? 
Like, what? That ain't nothing. That is not nothing. And I hope neither one of them was the actual shooter because he needs to get a charge of um, attempted murder. Okay? Because, I mean, he took a gun, put it in the man's mouth, and, and shot him. Like, what? It's crazy. And then, trying to cover it up. Like, what? 17 and 20 years? No. I felt like they needed at least, at least 30 years. In my opinion. At least. Like, they knew better. They knew what they was doing. They knew it was wrong. And then, they tried to cover up what they knew was wrong. Yeah. Mm-mm. To me, there ain't no punishment. And I can't wait to see what the, the actual person who shot one of them is going to get. Everybody was in the comments like, oh, no. <clears throat> they deserve way more than that. Way more. <clears throat> oh, my God. I just do not want to leave this on my plate, y'all. <laughs> I really don't. Mm. Mm. So y'all, whatever y'all see me shaking I don't have a problem. It's just that I had coffee. Coffee makes me shake. It literally gives me the jitters. Let me know if coffee does that to any of y'all. Because when I tell people that, no, there's nothing wrong with me. I just had coffee. It's the jitters. They don't want to believe it. But let me know if, it, if that happens to any one of y'all. Cause it's got to be normal. <sighs> Woo, girl! Oh my goodness! Yeah, I was so shocked when I seen that. I'm like, is this supposed to be justice? <laughs> But I hope them those guys get their four hundred million dollars. Honestly, they're not gonna get four hundred million because thirty three and a third is gonna go to the lawyer. And I can just imagine who his lawyer is. <laughs> Y'all already know who the lawyer is. <laughs> like he's literally everybody's lawyer. He must have like a big team or something. Um. That works with him because there ain't no way he is handling all of these cases by himself. Like, it ain't no way. Okay. I should have brought my glasses over here. So, y'all, people is getting on um Winnie again. Um Winnie, what is her? What is Winnie's last name? Winnie Parker. Y'all remember her when she had said that she'd rather have a more diverse um, following or whatever because she was just complaining. Y'all remember when she was complaining about her following, right? She basically wanted more white people <laughs> because we... We're so mean to her and all of this stuff. And she just thought it was better if you have a diverse audience or whatever. Little did she know that um, most of her audience were black women that were supporting her. Anyway, so she's looking for love. She made a video <laughs> saying that she wanted to get a matchmaker because she's not 
like, she's not having any good luck on these, like, dating apps and stuff. Like, she documents her dates, these dates that she goes on, right? And I can see why people get invested because it's kind of exciting to hear, you know, when somebody is single and they're going out on dates and they're using these dating apps and, you know, how their date was. Like, people like to hear that. Um, and so... She just hadn't, she's hadn't had any, like, I know one of her situations that I had, um, that I had, I had watched, um, she was like, uh, she went on this date, the dude she went on a date with, they went skating, and he ended up talking to two other girls, taking their pictures and everything while they're on a date, ignoring her, and I'm just like, girl, like, I literally would have left. Anyway, um, and I guess he didn't, he didn't want to take her home. I, I can't remember y'all, but, um, he said he's going to call Uber for her. Uber never came. She just standing outside while he's in the, um, roller rink with these two girls. Um, oh. Anyway, it's just a lot of dates that just did not work out for her. <clears throat> she's looking for her person. I don't know if she's picky or not. Because I don't know, like, you know, what she wants in a man. But it doesn't seem like she dates black men. Allegedly. That's just from what I observe, okay? Which, it doesn't matter. She don't have to date no black man if she don't want to. But she may want to try. You know what I'm saying? If you're not having any luck with all of these white men that you are trying to date... Try a black man or a Mexican guy. Like, you know, let's go out of our comfort zone because I think that white men are her comfort zone, might be. Um, but, <clears throat> yeah. Um, so, yeah, so she is, she, um, she set up a GoFundMe, okay, <laughs> to raise money so she could hire a matchmaker, y'all. So everybody's going in on her. Um, I'm not sure why. Like, if you don't want to donate, just don't donate. Don't even participate. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, she took the video down, but of course, people screen recorded it or saved it or whatever. And now they're talking about it. Um, basically. Saying that she's desperate, desperate, <laughs> desperado, <laughs> desperately looking for a man or whatever. Um, I disagree because just because you want a man or you want a relationship, you want to be in a relationship and you're dating, that don't mean that you desperate. You know what I'm saying? That's not what that means. Now, <clears throat> I mean, everybody deserves love. Like, that's what she wants. Like, it does seem like she desperately wants love. And I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if she's actually desperate. But I don't know. I just wouldn't call that desperate. You know, she has a child. She probably wants a family. You know? And that may be something that men may be turned off about that she has a child you know what i'm saying that's a thing that is literally a thing um <laughs> i remember when i was dating way back in the day um i remember at one point in my life i didn't want no man with a child at all. I had the kids already. <laughs> I didn't want no, I didn't want him to have any. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. I did that. Sure did. But that ended up not working out, of course. It was like I would meet I would always meet guys that had kids all the time. But yeah, that might be something that's turning men off possibly. Um, 
I don't know. And then she would get men that didn't even want to pay for the date. Wanted to go half and stuff. Like, oh my God. Girl. If I have to have that conversation with you. We don't have nothing else to talk about. Like, nothing. Really. I don't have anything to say <laughs> to you. Not a thing. That was the biggest turn off ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, how much are you really going to be paying for somebody else's food when you're on a date? You know? Like, you're not going to pay no more than, what, $50 for their plate, I'm sure. It just, I guess it just depends on where you are eating. But with these men... That I be saying that, you know, a lot of, you know, that, that, that these women are dating and they're filming it. They're not going to no five-star restaurants, okay? They're going to regular restaurants where you don't even have to have a um, reservation. You know? And, oh, excuse me. Um, mm-hmm. It's just not giving. You're spending a whole grip on her freaking plate. Like, I mean, I wonder if it just, if it bothers men that, you know, I might pay for her plate and I ain't even going to get none. Or something like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they don't want to miss out or lose that little money for the plate that they, you know, are going to have to pay for it. Like, girl, I just feel like if you ain't willing to pay you know what I'm saying? For your dates, dinner, just stop going out. Don't go, don't take nobody out. That make you look bad, okay? When you have to discuss who's paying. Like, oh my God, that is so annoying. I'm so glad I'm not dating. Because <laughs> I would literally be over it so fast. Like, I would be over it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. Yeah, so anyway, she created a ghost on me. And I guess uh, so many people was um, calling her desperate and, you know, hating and all that. So she took the video down. Um... And I think she says she ended the GoFundMe too. But some people were donating. Um, <clears throat> I feel like at this point, like she's gone viral before. Somebody just needs to offer up their services for this girl. Like, straight up. Not that she, you know, is like um, is like a charity case or anything. But God, dog. You know Mm -hmm. I don't know what is it about her, like, why she can't find a man. Um, you know, it just, I don't know. She's not an ugly woman. Um, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe she's looking for somebody that is her height because she's a tall girl. She's tall and she's thick. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> and maybe she's looking for a tall guy and maybe... That's kind of hard to find. Because that could be hard to find. Tall ones. But. <clears throat> yeah. She just. She says she's going to save her own money. To um, get a matchmaker. How much are matchmakers? My goodness. Yeah. How much are matchmakers? Are they expensive or something? I remember I used to watch the show. It was called. What was it called? Oh my God. I just call a millionaire matchmaker or something like that. She matched like um people with money. Uh, okay. Maybe she needs oh, maybe she needs to go on love is blind. That's what she needs to do. You know what? No, because I don't know if she wants to get married like immediately like that. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe she needs to go on perfect match. She needs to go on one of them daggone dating shows because she has the personality for it. And I think she'd be perfect. I looked in her comments and everybody was saying that she needed to go on um, Love is Blind. But I don't agree with that though. Cause 
She's not going to want to get married in a couple of weeks. Like, who would do that? Like, <laughs> I don't know. That's weird to me. That is so weird. <clears throat> but who's to say how long you need to get to know somebody to actually know them? Because you could be getting to know somebody for two years and still find out something about them later on in their life. You know what I'm saying? That you did not know. So who's to say how long? Like you really can't, honestly. But um, mm, what else is going on, honey? Mm, the girl that got that um disease, not disease, but viral that infection, y'all. Um, she is doing updates. She's doing more videos because people have plenty of freaking questions. People want to know who was the seller, where she got that freaking wig. And she won't tell anybody. She is not answering anybody back as far as that goes. Like, why Why would you get on the internet, tell everybody that you got away from Amazon and that you got this horrible breakout and then not tell anybody where you got it from? She's probably trying to be careful with what she does probably and says because um, she probably doesn't want to get sued. You know what I'm saying? She's probably worried about that. Um, but girl, are you kidding me? It's her story. Like, she could say where she got that daggone wig from. Like, that'll be helping other people because who would want to order a wig from this company that basically sent her, allegedly, sent her a used wig? We know what happens all the time on Amazon. It, it does. It definitely does. But, you know, people want to know. So they do not <laughs> order from these people. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was the main question in her comments. And she didn't answer none of them, honey, on none of the videos. On none of the videos. Um, like I said, I think she's just trying to be careful. But anyway, people were like, well, how do you know it was a wig from um, Amazon? And, um, and she was like, because... It wasn't nothing wrong with her before she put that wig on. <laughs> That's not funny. Mm -hmm. It wasn't nothing wrong with her before she put that wig on. And then she said she had started getting these, like, bumps on the side of her freaking face. Um, So she took the wig off. And um, and she said she, oh, this is gross, y'all. But she, uh, she burst some of them. And then that's probably how it spread. And um, and that's where it started, from that wig. So that's the only thing that she could think of, you know? Um, even though this is like a common thing, and I heard that there is no cure for it either. And it's hard to treat, is what I heard too. I'm like, dang, that is just horrible. She got something all over her face, some type of shiny... Like, ointment, I'm pretty sure she got from her doctor, but, um, yeah, girl. If you seen this video, I'm pretty sure nobody's gonna be ordering any wigs from, um, Amazon. And honestly, because, <clears throat> You don't have to order a wig off of Amazon for it to be from Amazon. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Mm, anyway. So, yeah, so she's still going through it. Um, and she's trying to explain to people that, yes, it couldn't have been from nowhere else but that daggone wig. And that's just disgusting. I remember in the last video... I was like, how did she get this from a wig? Easily. <laughs> because the wig touched who's, who's ever scalp, and that's how it's transmitted. Through skin, skin to skin, <clears throat> touching, all that. So the lace was on somebody else's skin. They freaking had it. They brought the wig back. 
um, Amazon repackaged it. I don't know if they wash it. I don't even know. But, oh, that's another thing people are saying to make sure you wash your wigs when you get them. And I, <laughs> I don't always wash my wigs when I get them. And I see other people all the time installing wigs right out the box. And they don't wash them at all. So, let me know in the comments. Do you wash your wigs when you get them? Because, y'all, I don't. I got to be honest. I really just don't. Um, I know I'm going to start, though. Girl, are you kidding me? Because these companies, even though you don't get it from Amazon, they could not be, uh, they could be, like, sending out the same wig. You know what I'm saying? Somebody return it, and then they send it out again. You just never know. What is that noise? That's somebody else. <laughs> what in the world? Dang, are they okay? Anyway. Um, what else is going on, y'all? Oh, excuse me. Did y'all see Vivica Fox? I haven't seen Vivica in a long time. Y'all, Vivica went and got a BBL. At first I was like, that's, I, can't, I don't even notice who she is, y'all. It just did not look, it doesn't look like her anymore. Um, I know she, you know, she's getting older or whatever, but you can get older and still look like yourself. But it just does not look like her. It looked like she got surgery because she has that same, you know how you know when somebody got a BBL. They have that same friggin' shape. And the doctors be doing something with the butt part. It's just, I don't know what it is. I can't even put my finger on it. But anyway, let me let y'all see. Miss Bivka, let me turn this down because they got music over it. Honey, she is happy to be in that outfit. And look how she ends up looking. Like, dang. But that butt, honey, it looked like a shelf. For real. <laughs> they did that projection real good, but it just don't match her legs. But, I mean, I think she's still pretty. Um, I just don't like this outfit, y'all. Like, what is up with that outfit? Anyway... So, yeah, I was just shocked when I saw her. Like, I just was like, that's Bivica? I was shocked, y'all. Shocked. But, um, okay, so anyway, there is this lady. Um, this black lady that is um, telling black women to stop wearing wigs, stop wearing makeup, stop uh, wearing them eyelashes, talking about the eyelashes look like uh, something she said. Um, she was like, black women, wear your hair. Stop wearing these wigs. Stop trying to, um, you know, be in somebody else's culture or whatever. Like, I don't think the wigs are emulating somebody else's culture. Because if we wanted our hair like that wig, we could do that if we wanted to. Some people can do that. So I don't feel like wigs are emulating anybody's culture, honestly. I just really don't. Because let's just say I wear a straight wig. I can straighten my own hair. It's just that I don't feel, I don't think that people know that people, some black women, you know, have hair that they just don't feel like dealing with sometimes. You know, that doesn't mean that they don't like or love their own hair. I just don't think that it means that. Mm. Mm. Excuse me. Mm. You know, wigs are fun. Like they, you know, they allow you to switch your hair up, you know, and just do different things and not have to 
put all that stress on your natural hair. Um, you know, all that color and stuff and all that type of stuff. Because I know I would never do all that to my hair. You know what I'm saying? But I surely will go and buy me a wig with some blonde streak, streaks in it and look cute in it. You know? So, I think we should just let people, folks do what they want to do with their own hair. Just like we need to let people do things, do what they want to do with their bodies and whatever else. They clothes. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Vivica and her outfit, but, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what she thought she was doing making that video, <laughs> because if a black woman wants to wear wig, she's going to do it, period, she's going to do it, if she want to wear braids, she's going to wear braids, I mean, she was just really serious with it, too, like, Wear your natural hair. You don't need all those other accessories. Wear your natural hair. And if you have to wear extensions or if you have some type of medical condition like alopecia or some other health underlying health issue, wear extensions that look like your natural hair. But wear your hair. Appreciate who you are. Put you a little, tiny little bit of makeup on to complement your features. Just a little. You don't need to be couturing your face. That's what <laughs> couturing. transgender women do. Contour, they girl. Do that because they're trying to create features to look like you, black women. Wear your natural hair. Take the eyelashes out. We don't need to be seeing them eyelashes all the way up here. They look like windshield wipers. <laughs> if you're going to wear eyelashes, make sure... It's very, very light and subtle to where we can barely tell. Because I'm telling you guys right now that a lot of y'all single-handedly look like clowns. You are beautiful just the way you are. It is a damn shame that I see black women coming up on this app saying, oh, my hair ain't done, and you rather wear a scarf over your head than to wear these beautiful strands of hair that's coming out your scalp. That's absolutely beautiful and mind blowing. Yeah, you are. And it's connected to the sun. Boom. Do you love yourself? Yeah, of course. Or do you love someone else's culture? I disagree with that. that you are attempting to mm -mm. look like. No. Wear your natural hair. You're beautiful just the way you are. Y'all got it? Roll with it. Black women. And baby, her comments, when I tell you everybody's agreeing with her. Shane said, natural is always the best. And y'all tell me how y'all feel in the comments. Wear what you want. Life is short. Enjoy. Totally agree. When you said take the eyelashes out, I shouted truth. Mm. I love my natural hair. God bless you, my sister. Black hair is beautiful. Life is short. Do what makes you happy because tomorrow is not promised. If you like it, I love it. Exactly. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't care about people who wear wigs. Like, that's their business, you know? Yes, yes, I agree. We are already fearfully wonderful, wonderful made. This should be viral. Tell it, sis, thanks. Yes, I went natural many years ago. Would never go back. Nothing like natural. Mm, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just don't freaking agree. Like, some people don't like the way they look natural. You know, like, some people don't like it. And it is what it is. That's, like, the truth. Everybody does not like the way that they look natural. I remember I watched this one black lady. She made a video, y'all. I wonder if I still have it. She was like, I'm just going to keep it real with y'all. She said um, that... She does. She doesn't look feminine. That's what she said. She does not look feminine with her natural hair. She, I believe, she said she looks manly with her natural hair. And she was like, "Come on, um, black women, let's let's keep it real. Let's be honest." And baby, nobody. Here she go. Y'all listen to this. Women do with 
Wait. So many white girls bleach Wait a the minute. Fuck Is this it? No other group of people care as much as black people do with how mm. their women do their hair. Why are black women constantly put under pressure to show and embrace right. their natural hair and to prove that their natural hair is a certain way when no other group of women have to do that? I kept getting tagged in this one video of this girl stitching another video of a girl saying, what is the end goal with wigs? And then the girl stitched it and was like, the end goal is black women and their hair. Where is the daggone video? So don't like wearing wigs. Did she take her video down? First of all, you know it's not the same. White women bleaching their hair or this is her. their hair. Women do with their hair. Listen. So many white girls bleach the fuck out of their hair. First of all, you know it's not the same. White women bleaching their hair or straightening their hair is not the same as what we do. And I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. Listen. So I know the sister's going to pretend they don't understand what I'm saying. This woman talked about how she had a head full of natural hair. Most black women do not have long hair. They do not have long natural hair. Black hair does not grow. It does not. Why is she on the internet saying that like that is the most ignorant thing i think i have ever heard that black women's hair don't grow like what maybe you didn't grow around black women that had hair that grew just say that but to you know what i'm saying sum all of us up and say that black women's hair does not grow is crazy it's crazy for her to even say, listen. Not grow at the same uh, speed as other races. If you are one of the unicorns where you, you can cut your hair uh, one day and in two months or three months, you got inches, you you know you're a rare breed. When we cut our hair, that's it. It's going to take a little while for it to grow. Mine damage grow. or undamaged. I don't care. Drinking water or not drinking water. Why do you think one of the major ways to make money is to sell black women growth oils even from madam cj walker to right now you want to make a quick buck sell a growth oil our hair does not grow like that it doesn't and i'm gonna go here i i do not look feminine with natural hair then coupled with the fact that the hair doesn't grow as fast uh-uh no some women have the confidence they have the beauty to be able to pull off a short natural, I do not. I do not. And I think most black women do not. They do not. And for a lot of, I know me, I feel prettier with wigs or straight hair. I feel prettier. I feel more feminine with hair, wearing hair that mimics another race of people. Wow. And I know that's a shame. And I know that that's some internalized self-hate. Yes, but is. listen, my eyes aren't fooling me. I don't look... Okay, I don't look that good in any style, but definitely when my hair looks. Well, you know what? I feel like she has a problem. She has a problem with the way that she looks. It's obvious. Okay, um, <clears throat> girl, you need to go get some counseling or something because to say that she doesn't look pretty with her natural hair or even short hair. Or, just, I mean, man, she too much. Oh, um, mm, this is very problematic, honestly. Natural, you know how some men, black men, they like a woman natural in theory, but if you put her side by side with a woman with a wig, they would. They yeah, they, the and that's, that's true. I think a lot of black women are on that type of tip. We that's like true, our hair natural in theory. You know, we should like it in theory. We should, We yeah. like it better on somebody else, but when it comes to us, we do not look feminine. No, we you don't, don't look, feminine. look feminine. We do not look pretty. <laughs> and the black community knows that we have that, we have those self-esteem issues. The black community. Black men and black women, they know we have these insecurities around our hair. And instead of letting us be great, what do they do? Taunt and pick. And knowing, knowing everything that we're going through. Knowing that, for, for real, for real, I don't want to wear straight. I don't want to wear straight hair. But I don't look good with my natural hair. And the natural wigs, they look like, you know, who done it and why? I'm not trying no, to. No, they do not. 
girl. So I'm sorry, she said Mufasa, baby. Have y'all seen um like natural wigs? Like I have some, and they look absolutely amazing. Like they do, they just do. And I feel like she would look good in a natural wig. I really do, and I don't know. Like it's unfortunate that she feels like she wouldn't look good in a natural wig. Like I can see her face with um you know a a huge twist out like style. You know. Um, no, everybody doesn't like their hair or the way that they look with short hair because I don't like the way that I look with short hair, but I'm not going to go all the way to say, um, I don't look feminine. Like I look feminine, but I just don't like the way I look with short. I think I look better with longer hair, you know, um, I ain't gonna say I'm up. Excuse me. We need to get that together, girl. We gotta get together. My gosh. Anyway, um, let's see. Uh, what else, y'all, is going on here? What's going on? What is this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Clay's best friend. Came out and said that, um, AD, that, uh, yes, there is something wrong with her finances. Remember when she said, what, nothing wrong with her finances and all this here, right? And I think that is why, that's one of the reasons why Clay did not marry her. Because when, remember, like, after the ceremony, he was saying that he didn't know what her finances looked like. He knows what his looks like, but he don't know what hers look like. And he didn't want to go into a marriage with somebody and he don't even know what they finances look like, right? So come and find out. They were at a club, right? I don't know if AD and um and Clay was at the club together or if they just saw AD at the club. But anyway, AD's alleged um sugar daddy was there and approached Clay and said that this is my woman and you know you can't have her or whatever. Anyway, come to find out, he's funding her. Like, he gives her money and stuff. And, um, anyway, okay, so this, listen. Clay's friend, he didn't came to the chat with a mess. When I say that Girl, Love is Blind season six has to be the messiest, messiest season yet. And I haven't seen no other seasons, seasons Yo, but As it I seemed like it is. doing my night routine, doing my face care, I said, Go ahead and scroll through Instagram real quick. And what do I see? Season six got to be the messiest season yet. And I see girl, come on, girl. Right Where here. is the tweet? When Clay was doing it in the wedding, the one with the beard. Mm-hmm. Him. He then came on Instagram on that site called OnSite. <laughs> and he said that uh, Amber's finances wasn't together. That Amber's finances was a mess. And a matter of fact... Amber, she had a whole sugar daddy, a whole sugar daddy that was financing her. And I guess one night at the club, they was all there, and the sugar daddy approached Clay talking about, this is my woman. He told Clay, leave her alone because she's with me, she's mine. Whew. But if you don't believe me, you want to read it for yourself. Okay. Headband shoddy. Okay, he says, I'm Clay's best friend, and we've both been uh, living out in Charlotte for years now. 80s finances are, in fact, funny. She has a sugar daddy that is funding her life. Bought her a car and an apartment? She not a realtor. Ask her to show us one house she sold or a picture she took with someone in front of, of the house, she just she just sold them. I'll wait. The never to do a press run to lie on a dude that has said nothing but kind, respectful things about a nasty work. What? Hold on. Okay. 
Um, and then they responded to uh Kami Crawford. Isn't she the host of a um of a show? November 2023, around her birthday, her sugar daddy confronted Clay and I and I outside the club stating he was still involved with her and has been uh the entire time and told Clay to stop messing with her. He was not playing. That man came to Okay, so that was true. Let him know uh this little fine thing, she's mine and I I knew that I knew something because how is she gonna be that dang on me you and I have nobody. Like I knew it was something like wrong with that. Um and I wonder why she would. Hmm. It must be something wrong with the sugar daddy. Because if he's giving you money, why would you go on a show to try to meet somebody else? And. Hmm. Mm hmm. Maybe she wanted to get wiped up and live the soft life. Maybe that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? Because she seems like she's that type of girl that, you know, wants to marry somebody that got some money and, you know, live that soft woman life like everybody would love to live one day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, but she probably seen that he has these Airbnb businesses and, you know, he's pretty much stable um, with his career. And she probably saw it and was like, oh, yeah. I want to get married. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need to snatch him right on up. But anyway, so yeah, that was the tea on that. So, AD's finances allegedly ain't that good. But that don't really mean nothing. Like, her finances could be good, but she's just taking money from a sugar daddy. Like, why spend your money when you can spend his? <laughs> you know? Anyway. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and read these mother flipping comments. Okay. Um, okay. Oh. Uh. Um. Uh. Um. Jennifer. Jennifer Betts. Bet Steel. No. What is that? I'm sorry. Jennifer Bet Steel. Bed seal 439 says, yummy, not trying to be smart or anything, but your hair is pretty. Girl, how, how would that be smart? <laughs> but your hair is pretty. It looks healthy and full. Girl, it is really tricking you, honey. <laughs> I know it's hard to keep up with it. Yes, it is. Um, It looks way better than your wigs. Thank you, girl. Um, girl, be proud of that beautiful hair that you are born with. <laughs> Food looks good also. Thank you, girl. Thank you. That's a compliment. I appreciate that, you know? And it's your opinion. Um, Tawana Jackson, hey, girl. She says, I don't want to be mean or say anything out of line about Charles and Netta, but... Mm, You know what I'm saying? I was trying to keep it cute because, you know, sometimes you just got to let people do what they want to do. You know, they were set on getting surgery. That's what they want. And I'm pretty sure they probably been waiting for the day that they had enough money to get surgery. You know, I, I and I'm not even going to lie. Like, I have definitely thought about getting surgery before. But of course I got scared and, and you know, and didn't. And then when I found out how much, you know, the surgeries are, like I really didn't want to do it then. But yeah, you just gotta let people do what they wanna do. Anyway, let me finish reading. She said, mm, from what I seen, a dermatologist. <laughs> Girl, you are crazy. <laughs> she said, a <laughs> She said a dermatologist and a lawyer <laughs> needs to be involved <laughs> immediately. Girl. Now, Miss Netta's skin, like, honestly, what can she really do? What could a dermatologist really do 
with Miss Netta's skin. This may be something like hereditary or something. Like, it, to me, I feel it looks like her skin is damaged. That's what it, it and I ain't trying to be funny at all because I used to have skin problems too. Um, but it looks like her skin is, is damaged. That's what it looks like to me. And the, now the chemical pill, it did a little something, did it not? The chemical pill that she had? I think she needs to have more rounds of the chemical pill in order for it to like, you know, you know, I don't know. I just don't know if Miss Netta could have that type of skin that is like super clear and look like baby, a baby's butt or something. Like, I just, I don't know if that's possible. Everybody can't have that. Like, I can't have baby smooth skin either. Like, my my skin ain't baby smooth, you know? Everybody just cannot have that. Um, but girl, you are crazy. <laughs> Miss Miss Nella going down the line, honey, of all the things that she wanted done. She wanted to get rid of that stuff because she already had the surgery to get rid of the weight. So she wanted to get rid of the excess, um, you know, fat. And I do understand that, okay? Um, she got her teeth done. Her teeth look amazing, okay? Have y'all seen the teeth? The teeth are looking good. Um, you know, she started on the skin. Of course, she needs to work on the skin just a little bit more. Um, you know, she be getting her hair done and, oh, that's another thing. People was talking about her putting makeup on top of the, on top of the treatment that she had done in her skin. Like, she needs to stop doing that and just let her skin just breathe. You know what I'm saying? And, um, let whoever was working on her skin just keep working on it and stop putting makeup on it because they, that might be doing something to her skin too, you know? But anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's one of your ass. It's crazy, girl. Um... Uh, let's see. AP Trucker 8518 says, Hey sis, well, I say this, your hair looks great. I think you should stop calling it gray and change it to silver. <laughs> it's all wisdom, not age. You look great. Thank you. <laughs> you think I should call it silver girl? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, and I got my um my permanent black dyes in. <laughs> I will be putting it on my hair. I will be doing it. But thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um Yolanda Howard 2437 says, and uh as far as your hair goes, it's beautiful, grays and all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Yolanda Howard also says, man, yummy. I have never tried lamb chops before, but girl, you got me wanting to try them for sure. Dang girl. I'm going to let you know when I cook them for sure. Yes. Yes. Let me know. Let me know. Um, DK7947 says, Hey, yummy. Hey girl. She says, your hair looks absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Thanks so very much for the, um, B day, uh, it means a lot to me. Oh, I had a chill day. Um, we went out to eat at Longhorn. Girl, did y'all go to Longhorn? <laughs> tell me what you had. Wait, oh, she told me she said I had stuffed mushrooms, wings, and salad. We also went. We also went to our local art museum. Thanks, thank you for asking. Oh my God, y'all went to an art museum. Oh my goodness, I want to go to an art museum too. I bet you that was nice. Um, Tawana Jackson 2814 says she probably should have uh, washed it first. I have a friend that went through that same situation. What? With a wig, not from Amazon, and she did not wash it first. Like you should always wash your wigs first, always. Girl, it's a lot of people that don't. Like I just said, I don't, but I'm definitely going to start. But uh, yeah, I don't need to buy no more wigs. I don't need no more wigs, y'all. I literally have every single wig that I want in every texture, <laughs> every length, all that. Like, I don't need nothing. I got the 30 inches. I have the freaking 14 inches. I have it all. All of it. Um, User... P-E-9-T-H-1-Y-1-9-B says, and give a sister a shout out. My name is Christy, same as you. Shout out to Christy. <laughs> oh, we don't, we don't, 
spell our names the same, but we, we do have the same name. Shout out to Christy. Um, and Christy also says, um, you said what we sitting down doing. I'm on the stool rolling my good, good. <laughs> Girl, you are crazy, Christy. Rolling my good, good, LOL. You wanted to know what we doing. By the way, love you, girl. And your real hair is long and pretty. Thank you, sis. You should rock it on a regular. And the food always looks good. Thank you. Well, I, you know, I'm going to try. But I don't want to just wear it like this. I can, And, you know, I can't curl my hair. My hair will not curl. Like, if I put a curling iron to it, it's not going to curl in this state. Like, um, I would have to get my... Because my hair is just flat ironed. It's not silk pressed. I would need to get a silk press if I wanted any type of curl in my hair. Because just wearing it like this, I, I can't curl it at all. Um, but anyway, thank you, girl. Um, let's see. User NW5VW7HU1H says, hey, beautiful black queen and family. Thank you so much. Hey to you too. B Bogney says, I'm just laying here watching your beautiful video. Thanks, sis. Love you. I oh, love you too. Um, B Bogney also says, good evening, beautiful queen. Everything looks so delicious. And so does the lamb chops and everything else. Um, are so amazing and you look so gorgeous today. Um, today is always, as always, Queen, I love your hair and the outfit. Thank you, sis, for the awesome video. I really enjoy your beautiful video, sis. Thank you. Love you. Love you too, sis. You're so sweet. Um, what else? Erica Adams says, hey, boo, the food is delicious. Happy Wednesday, love. Thank you so much. Happy Wednesday to you, too. Uh, wait a minute. I thought today, girl, anyway. Um, my Mertis Lane 9409 says, beautiful hair, yum, and so are you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Michelle, Michelle VK2JM says, looks stunning. Thank you. Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Natasha J's uh, World Overcomer says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl, you have very pretty hair. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Courtney Marie's mom says, is that a Virgo necklace that you have on? Girl, no, Scorpio. <laughs> hey, oh my God, I hope everybody's still here. In the comments, let me know your, um, your, Girl, your uh, what the your horoscope? Like, oh my goodness, is that what it is? No, your your y'all know what I'm talking. About. I'm a Scorpio. Y'all, let me know what y'all are. Okay, why, girl? Sometimes it happens. It happens. Um, girl, no, I'm not no Virgo. Uh, if so, now I know why we have so much in common. Virgo power, girl. No, it's Scorpio, and I do. Virgos and Scorpios have stuff in common? I guess so. If you say we do. Um, let's see. Patricia6041 says, Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to you too. Hey, what what um what uh what sign do y'all think is like my uh what do you call it? Um oh my gosh. Uh I'm trying. Y'all, there's something going on with me. <laughs> my, um, I can't think of the word I'm trying to say. My, my love, literally, y'all, uh, okay, I don't know what is going on right now. Um, Tropically Mix says, okay, Inches, we see you. I would love if my hair was that long, girl. Think again, honey, because it gets very, very annoying. It really does. It gets stuck in stuff like my hair. Been, I just, I've been putting it back in a ponytail. It's been getting stuck in stuff. Like it just, oh, sometimes it's annoying. It really is. Um, let me know who's my soulmate. 
what sign is a Scorpio soulmate? And don't look it up either. Just what do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Uh, Courtney Marie's mom says, hey girl, hey sis. The situation with the twin girls in New York is horrible. Is it not? Like it, that, oh my God, the mom, y'all. I watched a clip of her today and she is just going through it. Like it's just horrible. She said, I have had several encounters with men that can't take no for an answer. Girl, hadn't everybody. Um, I've been followed and stalked. What? I'm always respectful, but with some men, they just can't take being rejected. I know, girl. I honestly, I'd be respectful out of just being afraid sometimes because you just like stuff can turn so fast. Honestly, like I remember like back in the day, I wasn't so nice with saying no. Um, honey, I was called so many bees and just, man, I regret it, you know, reacting the way that I did. You know, I, of course I don't do that anymore. And I don't do it anymore just because it's freaking rude. You know, people have feelings. They do, even, even men, <laughs> even men have feelings. You know what I'm saying? If you, um... Don't want nobody to respond to you in a nasty way when they trying to holler at you. Well, don't do that to them, you know. Everybody's human. We all have feelings. So, you know, uh, but I would never be like, well, here is, is this. You know, if I really don't want to talk to somebody, like, um, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, there's a lot of people that do do that. Um, but nowadays, people don't give out phone numbers. They give out Instagrams. Like, what? Like, oh, I know I'm old, honey, because we would just, if somebody asks us for our number, we would give them our number, not our social media. Like, that is so weird to me, y'all, honestly. Um, but yeah, E. Troy, 2045 says, hey, yummy, hey, girl. Your hair looks great. Thank you, sis. I know I know and saw your struggle, but did but you did a great job. Thank you. Uh, to avoid the heat damage, you may want to straighten in a few sessions. What do you mean? That's how I do mine. And after a few days, I achieve the straightness I want. So you so you straighten it like every day? Is that what you mean? You straighten it every day? Because that's what I've been having to do, honey. I feel like my hair was straighter yesterday. And then I put the flat iron through it again today. And it just is not as straight as it was yesterday, in my opinion. Um, you know, and I'm going to get tired of it. And I'm going to do something else with it. But I really, I want to add more hair to my hair. Because I just, I don't like the, like my hair, it's it's very uh, fine. Very fine and, and fine. I would say thin, but most people would rather say fine. But um, somebody said they love my Pico de Gallo jingle. <laughs> Pico, Pico de Gallo. Y'all love that. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think I'm doing what you're doing, sis. And, oh, you know what? I don't think I showed y'all that I put heat heat um guard on my hair. It's the one by Chi in the red uh bottle. But yeah, I put some um some heat guard on my hair so, you know, when I do wash it, it'll, my curls will come back. But hopefully, you know, I don't get any heat damage. I hope I don't, girl. Shamika one uh fool says hair is beautiful. Food looks delicious. Love you, yummy. Thank you so much and love you too. Um, Joanna Aguilar4961 says, have you seen Entertainment Tonight about AD and Clay's relationship? By the way, are you considering, um, to make vodka pasta? Yeah, if I can. Now, if I make pasta, I'm only going to be able to eat a certain portion of that pasta so I can stay under my 30 grams of carbs. So, you know what? I could use um, my Hearts of Palm pasta instead of that other pasta I usually use. So I can, like, 
so the carbs would there wouldn't be so many carbs. So yeah, I could make vodka pasta. I think if I can make a keto, I will. I will if I can make a keto. Um, but no, you know what? I did wait. Did I see? No, I didn't. I'm gonna have to go and watch that. I'm gonna have to go and watch that about Ad and Clay's relationship on, on the entertainment tonight. Uh, Riri Love 1962 says, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure your notifications are on and set to all. Share if you care. Leave a comment or topic down below. Thanks and have a great day. Thank you, sis. Y'all make sure y'all leave some topics. Y'all never leave no daggone me topics. Um, Make sure y'all thumbs up the video and share and do all that good stuff. Jasmine Moore 8601 says that wig infection is a sign to just rock the natural look for a while yummy. <laughs> I say that as someone who is dealing with hair loss from wigs. And you know what? Girl, I get because I've been wearing wigs for a long time, ever since my beauty channel. And I have never experienced hair loss. And I think it's because I don't use that glue around my edges. If I'm going to tack my wig down, if I'm like doing like a, what, a 13 by 6 or, you know, something that goes from ear to ear, I use the spray. And then I don't wear it for days and days and days. And, um, you know, and I think that is, I think people lose their edges when they use that glue. On their edges. I think that's what happens with that. And then they have glueless wigs too. Like people really need to take advantage of glueless wigs. And be, and take the, your wig off at night. You know what I'm saying? Um. So yeah. Um. Yeah. I. You know. I can't promise you that I'm going to be wearing my real hair. I can't promise that. Because that's the reason why I even have hair. Because I don't wear it a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because I promise you, if I was always in my head doing all these different styles, my hair probably wouldn't be long. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you really have to put your hair up in order for it to grow and be long and all of that type of stuff. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Just if I can find other things to do with it, um, well, then I'll wear it. I will. Um, let's see. Diana7742 says, so happy to see you, see you with your own natural hair. <laughs> Have always loved you in your curly natural hair or this look. Food looks so delicious and healthy. Keep up the great content. Doing house doing housework but took a break to watch you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I'm, if, if I do wear my natural hair, it's probably not going to be like, like this. I'm probably going to wear it in the natural state, like wear my curls. Um, because of course that's easier to keep up with. Um, but yeah, uh, Rose Miles 8, wait, yeah. Okay, here we go. Rose Miles 865 says, hey girl, love your hair so long. That looks delicious. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Enjoy. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You have a wonderful Wednesday too. Evelyn Gill661 says, maybe she already had it in her system. People were saying that, but she said that she nothing was wrong with her. She said nothing was wrong with her. She said she didn't um, notice, you know, those bumps until like it was on her hairline where that wig was i believe her when she said it was that wig i i, I really do because that's what she said that's where the bump started right where the lace of that wig was so mm -hmm. um jordan hayward 2060 says hey yummy hey girl uh your hair looks great thank you um, Kathy Yarbrough 9443 says, your hair is beautiful. Food looks so good. Thank you so much, sis. Thank you. Uh, Sheila D1265 says, yummy, your hair is absolutely gorgeous and so healthy. Thank you, girl. Thank you. I try to, you know what I'm saying, keep my ends cut, all that good stuff, y'all. Keeping your ends cut will just, 
it really makes a difference. It really does. Like, don't you hate when you see folks, like, sometimes, like, when people make these TikTok videos and, you know, they go get their hair done at the beauty salon and, um, like, they have natural hair and uh, they have all of these split ends and they don't want to get it cut. That irritates me so bad, y'all. When people want to keep those disgusting ends, girl, just cut it off. Because guess what? When you cut all that off, your hair grows back so fast and healthy and thick and delicious. You know what I'm saying? Like, cut those ends off. Like, oh, my God. That is, like, that really irritates me when people don't want to cut their hair. Like, you know, you don't have to cut off your entire head of hair just cut the split ends and if it's a lot just it'll grow back it will grow you know um let's see noni oh none your business 2989 says love all your videos and i'm eating some chicken that looks good girl hope you're having a great day thank you hope you're having a great day too thank you so much for watching um, Mila Leggett 9890 says, Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to you too, sis. Uh, Shannon Joseph, hey girl, says, Yummy. You look fabulous, honey. The hair, the food. I'm floored, girl. Thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. Um, LaShawn 1901 says, Yummy bites. Hey. <laughs> Um, Michael Stewart 198 says, love your hair, yummy food looks amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, let's see, who is this? Roy Lean D I uh gives me praying hands and big eyes and a pink heart. Thank you. Not sure what that means, but thank you. Appreciate you. Um, but yeah, y'all, that was the last comment. Thank y'all so, so much for interacting with the video. Like y'all always do. I appreciate it. Uh, y'all, this, honey, I'm so glad I did it. Uh, it was so delicious. And it just, I don't know, it's a throwback for me. You know what I'm saying? Throwback Thursday. <laughs> hey, y'all, give me some more Throwback Thursdays in the comments. Because we're going to do us another Throwback Thursday next week. Okay. Anyway, I hope that you go. Oh, y'all, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Okay. Follow me on the Family Vlog channel. And I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. For everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey, uh, 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 uh. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, uh. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You hear? Bye, y'all. Love y'all.